All right, let's go ahead and get started. I have got liquid white up here, and I just finished a mountain painting. This is my second one of the day, if you can believe that. I can't even believe it. <laughs> but anyways, I got some pink that's left over from the previous painting. And I'm going to put it behind these mountains. There is no liquid white anywhere else, just in the sky. I didn't put any liquid white on these mountains today. Just for something different. Because I have a different type of uh, composition here. I don't want this wet down here. If that makes any sense. But anyways, this is just leftover pink, and that way I don't waste it. I don't like wasting stuff. So I'm just going to do another. I think I like it anyway. I've been doing probably too many of them with the pink sky. I'll have to change it up. It's just a real happy looking sky when you put pink in it, put a little blue on the top. It just looks, to me, it looks like a happy, happy place. And I like lots of collars in my paintings. And you guys know, those of you that have seen my paintings before. I'll bring it up a little higher over in here, and then I'm going to start throwing some blue in. Maybe a little higher there. I'll take a two-inch brush here in a minute. And blend this stuff up. I've still got pink left. Ain't that crazy? Tell you what, I'll stick it in this water. This is water right here. I'll put it down in here. As soon as I get the mountains done, I'll throw some water in, and I'll use this pink down there. Okay, let's get a little, let's see what was on this brush. Hmm, I don't know, it's kind of dark. Let's see what was on this brush. Ah, that's probably okay. Let's take a little phthalo blue. Yeah, I like using a one inch brush when I'm putting these collars, that I'm putting my sky in to start with. Most people don't, but that's okay. But uh, I like using a one inch brush. That way I can place the collars where I want them. A two inch brush just seems a little bit big to do that. With. To me, it seems a little big. Maybe a touch. Prussian blue up here in these corners. I think I'm getting some on my. Yeah, I got some that time. Just a little darker. And you know, it, it's okay. It's it is what it is. If I get a little bit too much blue up there, it's fine blending brush. Not that one. I hope this one's clean. I got one of my knives in the floor. I'll just kick it to the side. It'd be all right. I'm starting the pink. Work your way up. Do not start in the blue and work your way down. be bad. Hit that kind of hard right there. Wipe your brush. it real good. Let me stand back and take a look. I have pre-mixed some collars here. Uh, I have a mountain. I got, I got them separated. I don't know if they'll be separated at the end or not. Anyways, these are further back. I've got a big one right here. These are further back. This is black, Prussian blue, brown. I just took some out of this, put it there, and added some white. This is for our distant mountain. 
And remember that these mountains are dry, so you'll have to use more paint. A little more paint. And this is what you do if you have trouble making your paint break on your mountains. You don't put liquid white on it. I've got lots of videos with liquid white on the mountains and without. But if you paint at home and you have problems, this will fix your problem. Don't put liquid white on your mountains. But these are dry today, just for something different. Yeah, I don't, I don't want any down here for because of this particular composition. It's hard to deal that liquid white and liquid. When I say liquid white, I mean liquid clear. Also, it's the same, same thing, just pretty much. One's white, one's clear. But um, that stuff can be hard to deal with if you don't want it. Let's bring this one on up to there. I made enough of this. I've been doing a lot of paintings with liquid white on them and you don't use as much. And I've got into the habit of not making as much. So let's hope, let's hope I got enough made today. I think I do. And I'll bring it probably to right in there. I didn't scrape your paint off though. Some right in here. Like I said, it's not going to spread like liquid white or liquid clear does. So you got to put a little more paint. I feel like I got a rock or something in there. <laughs> That's crazy. Definitely going to need more paint right here for sure. I think I got enough. I think I made enough that time. Let's see how that spreads. Let me get me a spreading brush. Let's go ahead and pull this out. I'm going to bring it all that far down as I can. I'm going to have some pine trees in here. down as far as I can just to fill in the background. I'm not going to bring my mountain collar, my, what I put on top of it, all the way down. But I need to bring this darkness down. You got to have some color on the canvas and this is a pretty easy way to get it on there. I don't know where my, you know, I don't, the pine trees are not in yet. I think it'll cover this, but just to make sure, we're bringing it down. Just pull it out. Pull it out and rub it out. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do this big mountain. All right, we're going to use the dark color for it. It is right here. And it's pretty dark. Um, we are going to bring this one up to here. And I hope I made enough of this one. Because this one is going to take some stuff. This is going to take some paint here. I think we'll probably be okay. I think it'll spread all right. Um, let's bring it. Like I said, this is probably going to be covered, but I got to put something here anyway, just to fill this area in. 
but I'm pretty sure that's covered. If it ain't, we're going to make it covered. You know, you can adjust your painting however you want to. Oh, let's put a let's put a little dipper or a little something right here. So it ain't coming down perfectly straight. Maybe a little higher. And just throw in some of this collar, spread it around. Make sure you got enough on here. Because this, remember, if we don't have liquid white, it's not going to spread as easy. Just going to spread it around, and then we're going to take our brush and we're going to pull it out. And we use this brush. I don't know which brush is which. I don't know which one I just used on the other one, but that's okay. Spread it out. Yeah, see, it's plenty of paint on here. Um, this is water, so I probably need to bring it on down through in here somewhere. This should be covered back here by trees. up a little higher here just in case it ain't better safe than sorry I, I'm sure it will be all right let's go ahead and get ready to put some collar on these mountains I am going to take some white, some brown, I'm going to mix it up. Even a little bit more white. We've got to make sure we got enough. Um, that's probably pretty good. We're going to start here in the back. I, I'm, as I said, I'm not sure how far to bring this down. Just not quite sure. But... We'll bring it down as far as we need it. I mean, I, I just don't know <laughs> how far to bring it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be pine trees right there. Um, this area here, this is a little different. Let's go ahead and throw some stuff in here. Let's bring this on down a little bit. Bring this over to meet it. Keep wiping your knife off because you're gonna I'm picking up all kinds of stuff. Stuff I don't want. That's why I got my paper towels right in front of me. It makes it so convenient. So very convenient. Let's just keep rocking and rolling till we see what we got here. Because we don't really know what we got quite yet. Now right in here. 
here I probably need to bring this further down because the trees are going to get smaller as they go back. So I think I will bring this down a little more. Bring it down a little more here. I might connect these two, I might not. I don't know. We'll wait and we're gonna wait and see. And you do barely touch these, in case I haven't said that before. I am barely, literally, no exaggeration, barely touching this. Even without liquid white. Don't make no difference. You gotta barely touch it. I'm trying to get me up. Give me a roll on here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this needs to. All right, let me look here a minute. Still looking. Still looking. <laughs> uh, let's see this this uh, edge here is straight. We don't want that. Okay, it's better. All right, let's do the big one now. Uh, I'm going to take this white that I had. This is going to take a lot. I'm going to put more white in it. Put more brown in it. I may have to reload on some of these collars. It seems like I'm running a little low. Give me one second. All right, I'm back. I think I'm going to make more of this. So I'm going to take some more brown, more white. More brown, more white. Mix it up. I want it darker than that. I'm sure it is already, but I want it even darker. As you can see, this mountain is darker than that. These are further back. The closer something is, the darker in nature it should be, right? Okay, let's keep wiping our knife off. Picking up all kinds of stuff I don't want. Um, yeah, let's just keep going right here. Just in case that shows. And it might. It's easier to do it now than later. I mean, I could always scrape it off if it's in the way of something. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm far enough down there now. All right, let's start up here. I try to get clear to the edge. Keep that knife wiped off. Keep her wiped off. It'll help you. Yeah, you barely touch it, man. I, I'm not kidding you. It's. I know people think, oh, he's exaggerating. No, I'm not. I promise you. I promise you, I'm not. It's. That's really the, the secret and trick. You have to have the feel for what you're doing because it's, if not, it'll just go, you know, be crazy looking. Um, let's see here a minute. I think. Let me put a little bit of something back in here. Sitting back here all by itself.
I'm going to get my small knife. If you remember, it fell on the floor, so here it is. I'm going to get my small knife for some of that. Let me just take some. Uh, this is the same color we just used for those mountains. I'm just going to mix it up, add some white, maybe even a little more white, because I want you to see it at home. Let's test it. We need more white, we'll put it in. Stand back and see if you can. It might need more white. I want you to see it at home. So I'm mixing up, put more white in it. Surely this would be good enough. I would th like to think it's good enough. That's a lot of white. Let's start right here. Just keep fooling around with it till we get it the way we want it. Mm, it's looking all right. Yeah, it helps if you have two different size knives. Well, sometimes you can't, it's hard to take a big knife and get into these little crevices, even though this, the one I'm on is not really a small area. But that is, that is. It helps to have two different size knives. Yeah, this is a nice collar here. Because I'm pretty sure you can see it, and then that's what it's all about. If you can't see it, then I have not done my job. I'm gonna take a. I'm just gonna add a little dark color to the same pile. Actually, I, well, I'll keep this little knife for a minute. This is the mountain color I was using. I'm just putting some darkness in it, since the mountain up close is darker. Let's see, is that darker? Let me put a little black in it. That'll, that should darken it, shouldn't it? Even some Prussian blue, why not? I want it darker than the color I just used, just not crazy dark. Touch of brown to dull it. Want you to be too dark now. Let's see. No, that's good. See, it's darker than what I just had, so that's good. Let's throw some up in here. Throw some there. Of course, you need some right here. Now let me switch knives, get the big knife out. It's not in the floor, that's good. That's always a bonus when you don't have to bend down on the floor and pick your tools up. <laughs> that's usually a good sign. Things are going right for you. And we like it when things go right for us. Keep filling this in right here along the ridge line. I'll bring this down a little more, but I think this is probably real close to being down plenty far enough. See, the pine trees are going to start here, and they're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as they're coming toward us. I think these mountains look pretty good there. Let me uh, 
take some pure white. I'm going to put a little bit of white on, cover some of this. It's just a little too uh, plain. A little too plain or something. My knife is getting in all kinds of colors. I don't want it to. I'm trying to get that one spot there. Just a little bit up in here. Maybe a smidge up here. Yeah, you might as well do it now. Don't wait till later. These mountains all have a high elevation. They're supposed to, right? These peaks. So they could easily have snow on them, which they do a lot of times. I was going to use my leftover mountain collar, but man, I barely got any. Let's pull this out. Let's throw some water in. Let's see what this hey, is. Dark, 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 and that's okay. I'm using the lighter mountain collar as I go up because you want it lighter. Matter of fact, I might throw some white in here and get it even whiter than that. It's still pretty dark. That's a little better. And I'm going to throw some pink in here like I said earlier. Make it a little lighter still. Go ahead and put our water in and get it over with. There's no liquid white in this water. I think that's good right there for that. Let's see what see what happens here. Just to use it. Won't hurt a thing, I'm sure. That's the pink, that's all I got. I used it. <laughs> Alright. Back down in here into the darkness. You want it dark. I got some chunk of white on here. Ain't that crazy? You want it dark down in here, and it would be if I didn't stick my brush in some white. Let's get some black. That's what I was trying to get, and wound up sticking it in something I didn't want. Prussian blue with some black. Now you want nice and dark up close. And our water is going to stop right over in here. That's probably okay for now. All right, well, I'm making pine trees now. And they're going to get taller, obviously. That's why I left this out right here. But that's all I'm doing. I'm just I just want to bring you back and show you what I'm doing here. Nothing real exciting. 
just putting in some pine trees. I got this little baby fan brush here. My other brushes, man, I have just almost wore them out. <laughs> this one here is pretty new. I don't typically even use this one. It's so short handled. But man, them other ones I got. I have just about done them in. And we're just making these taller. I'm going to bring them all the way down to this yellow line. So by the time I get here, these will be pretty good size. They should be. Black, green, cad yellow, light. I'm just mixing it all up. Uh, let's put this one right in here. You just got to make sure you cover this up. This tree here may not be tall enough. It ain't bad. Let's do one more. I'm going to keep going, but I just... I'll do one more right here. So just make sure you try to cover these, what you need to cover, which is some of this stuff. This. Be sure you cover that up. I got to make out a little taller. I've got to get a reload of black here in a minute. You don't really want them to go up at a perfect, perfect angle anyway. I mean, one tall, one a little shorter, that'd be best. Yeah, I'm about out of black and green now. Uh, let's put this one. See, I got to cover that up, so we got to come up probably here at least. And we're just blotting that in basically. All the way down to our grass line. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing this. I got, I'm going to finish this out, and then we'll start working on either finish these trees highlighting or the grass. One of the two. I got to get a reload. I'll be back. All right, what we're doing now is highlighting our trees. We're using Cad Yellow Light. A lot of you have seen me do this before. And the sun is coming down this way, so we're touching. The right side of these trees. I got the camera zoomed in about as much as I can get it. We're just touching the right side of these trees right here. Now some these trees are kind of close so some will be in front of others. Matter of fact this might be about as far down as I want to take this one because the sun is not going to hit the bottom if he's bottom of these trees if the one beside of it is above it. I mean, you just got to kind of think about those things. Yeah, we're just touching the right side. Kind of kind of slow, methodical. It'll get boring. But this is how we do it. I do it this way because I think it looks good. No other reason. No other reason than that. I just think it looks good. People do things different ways. I mean, you can do it however you want. Some people take a fan brush and will stomp it in. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna set this tree back a little bit. But I, I just like I like how it looks. That's it. I'm just gonna put a little bit there on that one. And I'm going to put this tree in front of that one. Yeah, I've done two mountain paintings this week. I finished, they're not masterpieces, but <laughs> they're mountain paintings. I still got one that I haven't shown you yet. Probably go on here next week. 
I like it. Now, that's a pretty good one. You know, they're not all going to be winners. You just do the best you can do, and that's all you can do. You can't do no more than that. If you're starting to paint, just do the best you can. Practice over and over and over. That's really how you get good at anything is practice, no matter what it is. Practice, practice, practice. I'm sure most of you have heard practice makes perfect. That is true. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing this. It's kind of slow, methodical. I'm just going to finish these out. All right, I went ahead and put some put some grass down in here. I'm going to put some a few bushes in front of these pine trees right here. And I am going to start with some black and with a little green. Black and green. Um, I got a little picture down here I'm looking at. Let's see, let's make this, even though you can't see this, trust me, it's there. <laughs> it's hard for me to see it too, but it's there, I promise you. This is a pretty big bush right there. Let's put another one. right in here yeah that's not bad right there let's let's move over to here maybe not bad so far so good keep your fingers crossed they're gonna get a little smaller back in here Let's see, maybe one more here. Kind of put them two together. Sun's coming down this way. These ain't going, these shouldn't have a lot of bright highlights on them. And I think that's good. This is all getting, this is getting rocks right here. Let me go ahead and get me a rock painting brush. Um, let's take some, I think this, if this was a little, little better shape, it's sat overnight. This is raw umber. It dries, this impression blue dries really, really, really quick. Um, I just put this grass in, so this is real wet. I'm sorry, I got to keep putting my palette down because I got to wipe my brush off and hang on. We're just going to put a bunch of rocks down in through here. These rocks are kind of roundish because there's water. If there's water near something, the rock should be round because of erosion. In most cases. You know, you can't say the same thing for everything, but in most cases. And as I said, this is raw umber I'm using. Put one there. I'll bring this one back a little bit. We don't want them to look too symmetrical. Make them a little different. Uh, let's see, that one's coming down there. We'll stick this one out in the water a little more. Kind of bring it like so. The next one will sit back a little. Yeah, so you want them kind of offset. You don't, nothing symmetrical in nature, very few things. And this one will come over, down. Anyways, these get all, I'm going to take rocks all the way down here and I'm going to put some out here and a few in the water right here. And then I'll be back. All right, I went ahead, threw some rocks in, put, just put some white on them. I'm not done with them yet, obviously. 
And I am going to put some bush. I got the bushes here, and I'm going to put some nice collars on them. This is magenta. I don't use it real often, but I kind of like it. I mean, it fits really well. Um, and this is kind of a dark area right here. So we're just going to, I think I might put some down here too. It's a, it's a different color than what I normally use, and I, I think I kind of like it here. It's not extremely bright, like cad red light. But yet it's got a nice color to it. See, I got some cerulean blue out too, and some emerald green. I'm not sure how all that's going to look. <laughs> But I like using a lot of different colors. I like I like bright, happy paintings. Mm, let's try this cerulean blue. I don't know. Let's try some right here. Oh man, what a nice color! I don't know if you can see that good on camera or not. But boy, that is a nice deep, nice deep blue right there. I think I'm gonna hit that bush right there. This is one of my favorite colors too, cerulean blue. And you put white on it, it even makes it look better. This is in the shade. I got to be careful how much white I use. I'm just kind of stomping it in here. Carefully. Wow, I like it. And I might touch a little white along these edges. Just to you know, see the sunlight's hitting the front edge, but that's that's probably all the sunlight I'm gonna put on those. Let's try this emerald green. I'm experimenting today. There's another color I rarely use. I think I've used it in one painting. This is gonna be kind of. I just got a little bit right here. This might be kind of tough with this big brush. Yeah, it's not too bad. This brush might be is a little big. I'd like to make this a little bushier. I just don't know if I can with this brush without messing something up. I'd like to make it a little taller. Yeah, see it ain't. When you hit it more than once, you're gonna mess it up. I'll probably have to come back and hit that tomorrow. I don't like that right there. I just put this stuff in a minute ago and it's still wet, but I really like that. Those colors are wild. I like that. All right, just want to show you what I was doing. I'm going to go ahead and put some shadows under it, maybe touch a little white, very little on the edge. And I'll be back. Well, folks, that looks like a wrap. I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. And I love these bushes here. I mean, I love that color. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. Thanks for watching.